This video is going to cover counter strain for psoas major, and so the counter strain point for this is two thirds of the distance between the ASIS and the midline. So I'm going to find my ASIS, and my midline is here. So I'm going to walk two thirds of the distance in, and ask if there is any pain on either of these points. The left. She says the left, so I'm going to be treating her left side, and so I'm going to replace this finger with that on the exact point. I'm going to tell her that this pain is a 10 out of 10, and then I'm going to put her into the treatment position. So I'm going to flex her hips up, I'm going to side bend her towards, and externally rotate the left side. I'm then going to push again and ask her what the pain is. It's a one. She says it's a one, so anything that is less than a three, that's good. You can just hold them in this treatment position for 90 seconds. And then once the 90 seconds has passed, you're going to passively return them to neutral. So I'm going to put you back into neutral. Do not help me. I'm going to push on the point again and ask them what their pain is. It's a zero. It is a zero. So that is a successful treatment. This video is going to detail the treatment position for the low ilium or the psoas minor. Of course, you're going to follow your normal counter strain points but the treatment position for this is just a unilateral leg flexion on the same side as the counter strain point. This video is showing the treatment position for a counter strain point on the iliacus muscle. So you're going to find the counter strain point, and then this is going to be your good over evil frog leg. So since this is the bad side, I'm going to cross the good side ankle over the bad side. I'm going to then flex legs up and tell the patient's knees to go out. And then just following your normal counter strain steps, this would be the treatment position for this. And then passively return them to neutral. This is the treatment position for the inguinal ligament or the pectineus muscle. So you're going to find your counter strain point and this is going to be your good over evil pretzel or flexed adducted and internally rotated. So this is the good side. I'm going to have her cross over here and then I'm just going to flex the legs up and she can help me get into the treatment position. And so the bad side is going to be flexed, adducted, so it's more towards midline and internally rotated. This video is going to cover the treatment position for treating the piriformis muscle using counter strain. So you're going to find your counter strain point. And with the patient already on the edge of the table, you are going to flex the same leg, but do not go past 90 degrees. You're going to abduct and you are going to externally rotate. And then follow your normal counter strain sequence and then replace the patient to neutral. This is showing the treatment position for counter strain on the tensor fascia lata. So you're going to find your counter strain point and the treatment position is flex and abducted. So I'm going to flex the leg and abduct. This is the treatment position for counter strain for the high ilium sacroiliac. You are going to, on the same side as the counter strain point, you are going to extend the leg, abduct, and externally rotate. This is treatment position for a high ilium flare out or the coccygeus, and the treatment position for this is extended and adducted. So I'm going to extend the same leg on the same side as the counter strain point and adduct or move it closer to midline and follow your counter strain point, counter strain sequence for that, and then return the patient to neutral.